so we should discuss the fuzzy sets now and in this video we will start with the basic concept of fuzzy sets and fuzzy theory what are the basic what are the applications of fuzzy set and we are going to cover uh, everything uh, on the point of view that we are going to uh, uh, cover the upcoming examination that is UGC net examination because in UGC net examination this is an important part and uh, we'll start with the basic definition of a set we know there are two types of set number one there can be a crisp set and second one there can be a fuzzy set when I'm saying crisp set whatever uh, things which is which we studied till this point of time in mathematics most of the things uh, most of the set theory we studied that was for crisp set crisp set means answer to every problem is either yes or it is no right for example if I ask you some very simple questions right so th there are multiple questions you can ask you if I ask you uh, some questions like uh, is the water colorless when I'm asking is the water colorless now there can be two types of answers to that kind of problem the answer can be yes or it can be no that yes the water is colorless no the water is not colorless now in this specific case when I'm saying yes or no that means there are only two specific values here number one is yes second one is no I can show yes by one I can show no by zero so there are two values for this but if if I ask you some other types of questions for example if I ask, ask you Himanshu is an honest man or he is an honest guy now here this type of question you cannot say yes or no right or because you know this for this type of questions there can be multiple values or multiple things you can say you can say he is extremely honest you can say he is very honest you can say he is slightly honest you can say he is slightly dishonest you can say slightly you know it's very dishonest or you can say he is uh, you know extremely dishonest now all these values you know they, they are not precise values because these values are not having a precise meaning of yes or no okay now for example if I ask you uh, is the water warm right either you can say yes or you can say no some questions in general way see why I'm asking these kind of questions because either you can convert everything in yes or no that is in the, the most computer programming language or you can say in a you know crisp language crisp set where I'm saying exactly yes or no you can answer every question in yes or no in this way but in real world scenario because for for quantitative methods for example if you're writing a program you're writing a code then saying clear yes or no th that can be okay but for you know real world scenarios because the human tendency is not like this human tendency is fuzzy just for example if I ask you, uh, if there's a man going like this, and if I'm asking you that uh, what is the age of that man, or how do you categorize that man? So you can say he's a very young guy, he's a very old guy, or he's a middle-aged guy, right? Now, what is that middle-aged? Can you give a precise definition of that middle-aged, or can you give a precise definition 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 of young? Can you say that if the age of that person is between uh, let us suppose 12 to uh, exact value maybe 32 then he's a young guy 12 to 32 is a young guy but is it exactly precise in general conversation these things are not precise these things are fuzzy right so because when i'm saying he's a young guy that means i'm giving you a, i'm not giving you a clear cut definition that this should be the exact age of that person i'm just giving a range of that age that he can be between this these two particular ages and he can be a young guy in the same way when i'm saying he's a old aged guy he's a very old guy he's a old aged guy when i'm saying old age the you get a perception in your mind that old age means he must be above 50 years of age right and when i'm saying very old age you get a perception that he must be about 80 above his age must be about 80 above in the same way when i'm saying middle aged guy you you're going to make a perception that he is going to be a, of age which is around 36 to 49 or 48 so if a person is having an age of 36 to 48 that he is considered as middle middle aged guy but i'm not giving you any precise or exact definition this is how the fuzzy things roll because in most of the human conversation in most of the times we are not going to give you exact definition we are not going to give you the exact values most of the times we are going to give you some fuzzy values or you can say fuzzy definitions 
and this is this is how we led to the subject this is how we introduced the subject which is fuzzy logic to match the thinking of human mind because see there are two things either you can make a robot but you cannot teach human values to that robot why because the robot is going to take an exact yes or no but if you can make it think like human mind if you can make it think like a fuzziness some kind of fuzziness or some kind of no it if if it cannot if if it can also work with precise uh, non precise values then still you can say it is very good right okay so uh, just just for one more example if a person is coming like this now if the face of that person is not visible then computer cannot say well, who is that exact person but a human person human mind how it thinks how he is walking or how he is scanning himself what kind of clothes he is wearing or even if his face is not visible clearly but still some some hints you can say okay now he's he's my he's my friend he must be coming right or he's my teacher or he's my father he must be coming right so you can just guess around things you can uh, take non clear things and you can work it around to create or to get better details or you can say you to get better to make better decisions right in lot of spaces in life uh, you cannot make exact decisions but based on some fuzzy values you have to make some decisions in the same way if you want to make the machines think like human beings then you have to deal with such kind of situations where, where they are not going to get the exact values where they are just going to get some fuzzy values okay and accordingly will create some you know will create some measurements for them and will try to solve these kind of problems in this topic which is the fuzzy set theory we will learn how we can quantify things in a fuzzy manner rather than uh, giving an exact precise quantification of things okay so now let us dig into the subject and let us start the fuzzy logic and this subject i'm going to start on the in the point of view that you are going to apply for examinations like ugc net examination and i'm going to cover it but some of these portions of this subject can also be i'm going to create one more subject about a part of this because i'm going to add some uh, of the topics of different subjects to uh, teach you soft computing for example i'm going to discuss about the neural networks i'm going to discuss about the fuzzy uh, logic i'm going to discuss about genetic algorithms i'm going to discuss about artificial intelligence i'm going to take all these topics i'm going to combine them to make one single subject that is called a soft computing at later point of time but right now we are going to cover it uh, on the basis that we are going to, we have to clear the examination that is ugc net examination and accordingly we'll, uh, we'll teach uh, so that we can solve the, all the previous questions or as well as some upcoming questions for this examination okay and uh, there are a lot of books which are available in the market you can buy any one of the books or you actually don't need to refer any books because whatever i'm going to teach you i'm also uh, trying to create notes for you so that even if uh, you are not referring any book you will be able to refer the notes and you will be able to work on it okay so now let us start with the subject let us dig into uh, dig, dig deep into the topic that is fuzzy logic and fuzzy set theory okay